What's up, y'all? What's up? I feel like I'm shouting. It's because of the music. It's because of the music. But hello, hello, hello. What's up, everybody? Thank y'all for being here. People who are trickling in, I see y'all. I feel y'all. Welcome to the second installment. Oh, let me put my arms down. Of Hot Like Fire Open Mic. I love y'all for being here. If you don't know me, my name is Charles. I am the host the founder, the everything of Hot Like Fire Open Mic. This is sponsored by the incredible Poetic Vibes in Atlanta. And thank y'all for being here. We gonna have a great time. We have an incredible show for y'all. We got a bunch of incredible performers for y'all. And I just want to get to know each other. I just want to have a good time, y'all. It's been a it's been a hard week here. I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna be honest, because this is my show. And because I feel like I just I, I can be honest at, at my show. It's it's been a hard week, ladies and gentlemen, and I, I'm I'm very happy to be here. I'm very I'm very happy for this opportunity to unwind, and we, we just go have a good time. Like wherever you are, it, it, it's just me and you. It, it ain't nobody else in the room. I do have a lovely live studio audience. Studio audience, hello, hello. Uh, see, Woo! See, yeah, hey, we're elevating, and I'm just, I'm just happy that all of y'all are here. Thank y'all for tuning in. This is my second time doing this. So, you know, we, we we still taking baby steps, but big strides, great things are happening. And I'm happy that you're here. I'm, I'm going to say it a million times, but I love you. If you don't know me, I love you. If you know me, I love you. Thank y'all for the support. We're nothing without y'all. If you would like to perform, if the spirit hits you, if somebody inspires you and you want to perform, Please hit me up, shoot me a text. I will find some room on the list. But like I said, we have a plethora. We have a stream of incredible poets that are going to perform. But I'm a good person, or I try to be a good person. And so I don't believe in making people go first is scary, is awkward, it makes people uncomfortable. So at my open mic, I will always volunteer to go first, you know, just to to break the ice to get those jitters out. But what's funny is I ain't decide what I'm going to perform just yet. Okay. I'm gonna do something classic for for, for all the fans out there. I, I try not to perform this poem anymore, but this particular person that this poem is about released an amazing song today and will be releasing an album in a week. So I, I, I feel it's appropriate to, 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 to open up this, this very special night with this very special poem. Y'all yeah, know what I'm talking about. So, I have this disease. Actually, it's more of a condition that puts me in a position where people always look down on me. I diagnosed myself the day the cable man asked to see my ID. He squared up and told me there was no way I was 18. Look, I knew he wasn't trying to be mean. He'd just been messed up by my chemical makeup. My condition is it taught about in school. You can't find it in textbooks. Scientists are still studying its origin. It's a condition uncommonly known as Ariana Grande syndrome. For those who don't know, Ariana Grande syndrome is the major flaw in always looking like a minor. It was named after singer Ariana Grande, who's known for being the literal exact opposite of her name. So we people who suffer from Ariana Grande syndrome seem to stop growing before we even start. Developing to look underdeveloped, you know, maybe we hit puberty so hard it stopped. And tall people, y'all think that this is hilarious. Y'all call us travel size, pocket size, fun size. But ain't nothing fun about being old enough to pay taxes, but too small to reach your cereal on top of the refrigerator. I'm, I'm hungry and I'm mini and you know, I'm tired of being criticized for being bite sized. So many people don't understand the issues caused by Ariana Grande syndrome. 
Our lives are a constant battle to see past the person in front of us or, or, or people using our heads as armrests or, 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 or people. <laughs> That's just the grating and rude. And what makes you think a person our size can carry your weight? We're not kickstands, although we might be small enough to be. You know, you know, it's time for short people to start getting the respect they deserve. There's <laughs> plenty of people in this world with Ariana Grande syndrome who contribute a lot to this nation. For instance, Ariana Grande. I'm sure she sits on her stacks of money made from her four and counting number one albums to help her see over her dashboard, but, 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 but let's not forget Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Dreaming dreams big enough for this nation at five foot seven, or how Spike Lee directed the world's attention from his stature to his films. You know, I'm sure being five five doesn't kill Kendrick's five. So tall people, y'all might want to check yourselves. Don't you know big change comes in small packages? We short people speak louder in order to be heard. We jump higher in order to be seen. So you might look over us, but you can't overlook what we've done. Don't look at the tree and forget about the sea. Don't look at the ocean and forget the stream. Remember, David and Goliath ended with Goliath on his back. So don't you get a big head to have it chopped off. That human armrest of yours might just be the next Gandhi or Beethoven or Spud Webb. Check the World Wide Web and educate yourself. All the bark with twice the bite. We changing this world with half the hype. So you might look down on us now, but, but you'll look up to us later. Just had to break the ice. I hope y'all are feeling good. I'm feeling good. Like I said, I'm excited to be here. We have a, a we have a large, we have so many dope performers that's coming up tonight. I'm really excited. I can't express how I'm feeling, but I hope y'all are feeling good. It's this is a virtual thing, so I can't see y'all, but I'm extending all of my love, all of my energy, all of my excitement to y'all. I'm extending my love and my energy to my studio audience, y'all. <laughs> I wish I could see my studio audience. I just don't have to hear and experience I'm that I feel. I mean, I'm, I'm not doing that. It's about, <laughs> it's, it's, it's about me. It's about me. That's right. So, so once again, if you like missed the, the beginning part, I'm going a, I'm to a repeat myself and I'm going to like move my camera too. Hey, can y'all still see me? I'm still looking cute. Okay. I'm going to move my camera. Thank y'all for being here. I'm excited. This is the second installment of Hot Like Fire Open Mic. We are here every fourth Friday of the month. Thank y'all for tuning in with us. We appreciate it. We appreciate it. So next up to the mic, I do want to bring an incredible poet. Kai, you ready? I'm about to say you better get ready if you're not ready, but I hope that you ready. So I'm bringing, I, I'm bringing, I'm bringing Kai up and Kai has to be ready. Y'all are in for a treat because everything, everything is amazing. And y'all will think I'm exaggerating, but I'm not exaggerating. So up next, give your energy to please. I want to see all the comments. I want to see all the hearts. I want to see whatever you got. Give it to Kai. Hey, my baby. How you? Are you ready? Yes. Thank you for being here. So first things first, tell the people who you are, what you do, what's going on. Thank you for being here. I am Kai Arion Lord. I'm 23 years old. I'm an Atlanta-based poet. I have a book coming out called Every Nigga Ain't a Star. I have four other books, Lord, Hagar, Unorthodox Holy, Every Nigga Ain't a Star. Uh, it's coming out, just looking for a publisher right now. I'm also looking to start an open mic. So if, if your people want to put me on, then yeah. I got you. Yes, yes. So, what you got for us? Cause I, I, I'm sweating. I'm sweating with excitement. Bitch, me too. The fuck. <laughs> Let me turn my. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just get out the way and I'm gonna let you do your thing. All right, everybody, get ready for Kai. All right, see. You. All right. So to be a white nigga and piggyback off of the incomparable Charles, I have an Ariana Grande piece, well, a Mac Miller piece that I wrote the day he died. Um, Yes, so it's called Genesis. 
When raindrops fell down from the sky, the day you left me, an angel cried. Oh, she cried, an angel cried. She cried. As pure as Eve before the apple, as naive as dawn to rage and scorching droughts, raw as Lilith's palms and Hagar's onyx cheek, how our captors made shrines of our breaking. These holy men with names we speak so slow and reverence sin so deep in our spines we bled Jesus. This was never a love song, this dirge a baptism, a birth undone, the sacrament of bleeding, biting tongue to take communion. I was birth of Adonai and Baphomet and I became war and wrath. My mother smiled a rosary of nooses and blade became salvation. Sadness sows a certainty of crucifix confessions and I bled myself to God outside my chest. I am not mine to annihilate, for where can God escape himself within the hell of their creation? Where shall I run that Sheol won't swallow whole like the dagger in my throat? I smile a rose bloom crimson. Can Christ escape the carnal mind or does it rage against Gethsemane? What Christ must I die to but my own flesh? I am not mine to annihilate, but my honeysuckle veins ache to hummingbird God outside my chest. The cage bird sings itself into a silence and a feral yowl is born of sin and shame. Every day is a clawing at my insides, the blood red bruise of holy. I am God, I cannot escape. I throw myself at my own feet and worship. In the beginning, the word was made flesh. I spoke myself a galaxy ignited. I call my own name in this dark and glory. I am a vast and devastating beauty, a conflagration blooming forest fires. Men fall and call my name, beg mercy of my benediction as I belt hymns of my own holy. That's it. And this is Betty White because I'm Betty White. All right, I'm done. Kai, <laughs> hold on, hold on. I got it. Y'all, I, I I screamed when when the vocals came out. I I, I there there was a literal scream that that echoed from from my heart. Oh, so I'm, I'm a gush. I'm I'm a gush for 20 seconds because I'm a gusher. And like I say, everything everything that you do is amazing. So. If you ever want me because to it's my show and and because we have time. So can you tell us a little bit about your headspace and the inspiration behind that particular performance? So you said you wrote it right around Mac Miller died. So why exactly did you feel like this was an important piece? Well, let me go ahead and show you my dedication to Mac Miller right now. Okay. Yes. You know, stands, stands all day. Rest in peace. Oh my God. One of Mark Miller's aliases was Larry Fisherman. That's what he produced under. And I believe that he was an incarnation of something that I created called In Giza Theory, which means entanglement. Shout out to Jada slash together. <laughs> um, and it's that as every being incarnates, no matter their species, um, we all choose soul twins to amplify the composite soul, meaning different facets of our being, because typically in one incarnation, we can only handle one or two things, like one or two of our passions. So we choose our soul twins and we may or may not cross paths with them. And if we do, then they are the most important people in our lives. But basically we do the same thing in a different way. So I believe that that's the same for Mac Miller. I believe that I, I meant what I said. I am God. I cannot escape. I'm an incarnation of Christ. I'm the OG form. I'm the chief of all seven tribes, Cherokee, Pow Wow, Pow Wow, all of them. Seven scrolls, my nigga. And I try to keep it low, but since we on, since we on high, I'm going to keep it high. I am that nigga. I'm that nigga. I am him. I am H-Y-M-N. Like, I got it. But, and I know who you are, too. You are, too, Charles. I'm just the OG form. I'm what Jesus looked like on the cross. Hey, I love it. I love it. I get it's. It's crazy to think, especially in a world as big as the world that we live in, it's, and I feel like we all need to just focus more on how we're connected and, and the same. It's easy to always look at the differences and how big and scary everything is, but at the end of the day, everybody 
needs the same things. Everybody wants for the same type of love and inclusion. And we're all connected in that way. So I just think, I think it's really beautiful the way like you approach that and just kind of, but like, just how you look at it. But I also think it's incredibly beautiful how people that we never meet, people that can be far away from us really touch our lives and help us understand things about ourselves. Cause I know like, like I said, a huge Ariana fan, a Mac fan, that their music a lot of times have pushed me to be a little bit more introspective or even grow into myself as an artist. And like, I definitely like feel like you feel the same way, correct? Correct, correct, correct. And also I saw that comment, they say you single cause you five foot. You can climb this tree. <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay, so I don't want to put you on the spot. I don't want to put you on the spot, but it's my show and I can do whatever I want. So we have time. Can you please do one more for us, please? Whatever it is, I don't care. It's called Audrey Laura Questionnaire. Okay, because Kai got booked. So once again, I'm going to move out the way and y'all just prep for more. So the Audre Lorde questionnaire has three questions. And the first one is, what are the words I don't have or for what do I not have words yet? You guys ready? All right, cool. I don't have words for how heartbreak has cornered my love, for how with each new storm I am less myself in more resounding silence, how I left you long before I walked away. I don't know how to say I am an autopsy still breathing, how there are no exit wounds how the bullets made a home in me and I in quiet anguish. This is how we get along. We learn each day to bite our tongues a little harder. We master shutting up enough to make them stick around. Nobody wants to hear the way you shatter. No one cares to see your splattered blood on white sheets. You wear your scars as revolution on days you forget to be ashamed. Who taught you that? And when did they succeed at shaping a prison of your throat? What words did you lie hostage to your own shame? Who are you when you're free? That's it. Also, I meant what I said when I said Betty White was going to live us all. The rap show already had the good. Kai, thank, thank you so much for being here. Like, like, I have a book on my iPad. I have several books on my iPad. I can do whatever you Yes, book. yes. So, actually, plug, plug yourself again. Tell everybody what you're doing. Talk about your books for a couple of seconds. Everybody. Okay. The last book I released is called Unorthodox Holy, spelled the same way my IG is. That's on there. That's also my name is K-A-I, by the way. It's cool. People call me Kia all the time. People call me Kaya. People call me Gaia. It's fine. I am who I am. Ain't got nothing no misunderstandings again. I'm joking. But still. <laughs> I love you so much, Trump. I love uh, yeah. you. I love you. Um, yeah, so my last book is Unorthodox Holy. I wrote it a year. I published it a year ago in September. Uh, I, book. I actually if i'm talking about all my books i have seven i just published the first one when i was 17 and we don't talk about that one but um, okay. experience i i do editing publishing writing uh this pussy talk okay never mind but um <laughs> basically i do it all you don't get me in trouble on my show uh i'm actually I can't talk about that because of legal reasons, but I'm slated to be on a pretty widely known show pretty soon. Uh, and I'm getting my medical degree, getting lots of honorary degrees. Yes, um, yes, stay busy, stay busy. Relation, apparently. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you so much again for opening up, for being here. Everybody, everybody, please, if you don't already connect with Kai, Follow Kai on all social media. Seven books, seven books. So just, just, no. toss, your, just toss your money. Just toss your money in one. Just oh, toss your money in one and support the artist. T R A P W O M A N I S T. That's also my Twitter. Yep. Thank you, Kai. I love you. I love you so much. Thank you for your energy. And we hope to see you again next month. I'm going to be bugging you now. I'm gonna be Always love you. And please plug me in with who you need to for me to get my open mic set up. I will. I will. I'll connect with you definitely. Love you, my first feature, okay? 
it, it's a date. I love you. Thank you. I'll see you. I see her. Y'all can't see, and I'm glad y'all can't see that. I'm ugly, <laughs> but I am. I'm actually. I'm actually like sweating like profusely just from, just just from the level of talent and just. And, and my studio audience, they're sweating too. Like like. Speaking of I, I'm, I'm not gonna show y'all the studio audience, but. We love it. What's going on? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, incre it's incredible energy. I'm super, super thankful for everybody who's set, who's been setting this up. And yay, we're to the audience. We got, we got a couple more performers for y'all. It's gonna be a great, 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 great time. So, ooh, let me knock. I almost knocked down my camera, but we cool. We professionals. So, this next performer, I'm gonna talk about. For a little bit because it's my show and I can do what I want. But also, nice things, nice things. So I'm a good person. So I'm a big up this person's head because after his last performance last month, a couple of people was requesting that he came back. So he accidentally became a crowd favorite. I ain't tell him that, but you know, I'm gonna put it out on the air because he's a great writer and he's a good friend of mine. So Jacob and I will call you by your government name. I'm not. I'm not gonna do that stage name because I'm not used to that, and it's my show. I hope you're ready. If you're not ready, you better get ready because the audience will see you when you're not ready. But up next to the mic, a good friend of mine, an incredible poet. Y'all are gonna love him if y'all don't already. Give it up as I move my camera. Y'all can still see me. I'm so cute. Yes. Give it up for Jacob. I, I see him getting ready. Oh shit! Oh, hey, what's up? Why, why aren't you never prepared when I tell you to be prepared? It's Friday. I'm tired. So Jacob, what's up? Tell. So first of all, you have a fan base. People have been requesting and asking about you. I'm not gonna tell you who, but I'm just gonna say people have been asking about you. Okay. So please, please, before. So I don't even know how to react to that. You you doing good work. You doing good work. So tell the people who you are, what you do, what we got going on. Uh, if you don't know who I am yet, my name is Jacob. Um, I'm an educator, eighth grade math. Um, this time I'm not gonna call you out, Charles. I'm sorry for coming at you last time. I, I can't math. It, it's not a secret. Like <laughs> plus two is eight. Like. You're not wrong. Most of my kids <laughs> don't even know that. Uh, but, um, what I'm doing, I'm trying to get certified to become an athletic trainer, another side hustle. I'm always hustling. I tutor kids. I'm fucking tired all the time. I don't know if I could curse on here, but I am tired all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you are. <laughs> anyway, so. I'm an educator that I, I don't even know if I can curse sometimes. So what? So what do you have this time? Cause I I know you've been working on something, and um, I'm nervous, but I'm excited. Yeah. So I, I know how you just hyped me up, and this poem is the exact opposite of hyping me up. Oh, okay. So we we about to see Jacob talk down on himself, and I'm gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna get out the way. Everybody, please give it up for Jacob. All right, this piece is called, I Think I Am. <clears throat> they say I'm a poet just like them, but my confidence makes me slip to believe I'm just a regular guy. They say I'm a poet just like them. You all hype me up, but who am I to be categorized in the same boat as you? Like you could turn the sentence of the sky is blue into something like the sky is as blue as your eyes where I can get lost in a gaze dreaming about the next time I can lay next to you so I can see the never ending cycle of the blues. My confidence makes me believe I can't do that, which I just did. I believe I'm a fake. I just put on the teacher's voice to change the tone and inflection of my words to make a point where I'm really playing you like the girl I hit up once a month saying I'm thinking of you just to give them false hope that I want to see you again. Really, I'm playing myself every day. I'm so lost in my own head. I don't believe I belong 
and with such a group of people who can turn words into a beautiful ballet routine with twists, turns, and jumps and raw motion that has you on the edge of your seat to see what words will come next in their story. I want to say I'm a poet in confidence and believe my words have importance where people can be impacted. Deep down, I know, I know it and feel it, but my thoughts scream, fuck you. It's a shame. I've never felt like a poet, always feeling like my words don't matter, so I never release them, keeping them buried somewhere in the ocean where I can't even find them. I wish I could stop this cycle, but I just don't know how. One day, hopefully, I can scream on the top of my lungs, I am a poet, and actually believe it. Thank you. So, you want to know why I don't like you? <laughs> All of that. All How of you that. just sit here? My, my live studio audience agrees with me. They have to. <laughs> How you sit here and you write a poem about not being qualified to be a poet? Because it doesn't make sense to me. To, mm -hmm. to, to me. Uh -uh. Or me. Because <laughs> that sounds very poetic. And unless I'm crazy, but you know, I'm just unnaturally ranked and but I'm a weird slam poet. Oh, shameless plug. So, I'm, I'm with it. Okay. You know, I might not be qualified, but that sounds pretty damn poetic to me, sir. Yeah, I don't know why I don't believe it, even though I can transform what I just did. I don't, I don't know why. I don't, you're just so talented, Charles. Okay, so actually, because it's my show, <laughs> and I can put people on the spot. So, so let's talk about this for a second, Jacob. We we, we go keep you here okay. for a moments, and because we're good friends, yes. ignore the live studio audience. They they not even here right. It's just it's just me and you. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> so let's talk about. So, po so poetry isn't necessarily something that you felt like came naturally for you or did it like so did you have to grow into it is this a part of yourself that you're just dis like discovering as you become older as you work towards it um when i was younger i didn't write at all and initially i started writing after my surgery um to get a defibrillator in 2010 because i didn't really have an outlet to share my feelings to people because not a lot of people understood what it was like to go through what I was going through. So I started writing just to get my feelings out. And then in high school, I joined my poetry club and started learning different things and different ways to try to write. And then I just fell into it. And then I joined Project Split. And I think just being around a group of people like you guys, I think it it didn't hurt, like help my confidence because you guys are just such talented people that I just never really felt part of it. But it's something that I'm trying to get my confidence up because I know I do belong, but my mind doesn't believe it. I I love him. I love hearing your story. I I know you and. I know a little bit about what's going on, but for for everybody who's watching and for people who don't know, I feel like it's kind of, it's very important to speak about stuff like this, especially for talented people, talented performers that don't necessarily consider themselves poets. And even then, as somebody who claims to be a poet, I don't always 100% know what that means i'm just like i consider myself just somebody who who writes and i've been i've been writing my whole life but i also know people who have just discovered writing because like you said it is an outlet it is a place to put those feelings that you feel are misunderstood or that you can't express and I've known you for a long time. I'm really proud of how far you've come 
as a writer, you've definitely grown into your own. Do you feel like that you've improved or that you're discovering your identity as a writer, like in this craft? Yes. Um, I know you personally challenged me to try different types of poetry that best fit my style. And I think a few months ago or just before the quarantine, um, I started writing some very short, blunt poems. And I think me being just talking about those type of things made me realize like, hey, I wanna focus on like topics that are like meaningful to me and just get my message out. And I think I've definitely grown with working with you, working with Quinn. I know Quinn's watching or listening or somewhere. So I know she's been hyping me up and she's been helping me. So I feel like over the last two years, I've definitely grown in my craft and the fact that I run a poetry club at my school, I think working with those kids and hearing what they're able to come up with challenged me to like want to become better at what I do. Definitely, definitely. Well, I guess like I say to you, I say to you all the time, and I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell everybody who's watching who may be in a similar position, who may be feeling a similar way. Um, and even to myself, because I, I forget. So um, first things first, don't underestimate yourself. So even like telling your story. So you went from someone who didn't write at all, who struggled with writing, who just wrote on the side. And now you're a you're a leader in your community. You started a poetry club and there are young people who look at you as an example, as a leader who aspire to accomplish what you've accomplished. That right there, like a lot of people, uh, a lot of people can't say that about themselves. That's not something to discredit, but like me, like me and everybody, I know a lot of talented people. I constantly see a lot of talented people and there are poets every day that make me sit down and go, damn, I wish I could write like that. Screw you for being so talented. Let me throw everything away I've ever touched. Mm -hmm. But I also have to, and I feel like everybody out there, you have to understand your your identity and where it falls as an artist in whatever craft you may be doing, whether that's writing, whether that's music, whether that's dance, what whatever it is, and understand that you can you can and you do contribute something that nobody else contributes. My my words and my heart, it's for me first, and then it contributes something that nobody else contributes. And Jacob, you do the same. You contribute something that nobody else contributes. So before we get all mushy and before my studio audience starts crying, I don't want anybody shedding tears. Like, Too late. I'm going to put you on the spot again because I put Kyle on the spot and it would be unfair not to put you on the spot. So can you please, please, please dig into your repertoire, especially since you have a fan base now, you famous, and give us one more poem for the road, please. Sure. Yes, all right, so one more time, because y'all love him so much, give it up for Jacob. I don't know what he could do, but it's gonna be good. Huh. All right, this is called Done. Um, it's kind of a new piece, never performed it. Um, listen, just listen to me. I am done. I no longer want you or whatever fantasy you have of us. No, don't talk, just listen. I'm not gonna let you walk all over me so you can manipulate me like I'm your doll and contort me in a new way for me to stay. I'm not gonna let you talk so you can guilt me for feeling sorry for your fucking ass and how you've become the girl version of good luck Chuck. I'm no longer so sorry of why no man wants to stay with you. I'm no longer worried if you'll ever be in a relationship because all you worry about is how will I feel. This is why I won't let you talk. Just listen to me. The way you make me feel is like I'm a body with no organs. I cannot feel anything. 
I cannot feel any feeling or emotion, and I'm just your bitch to make you feel good about yourself. No more will I tolerate your fucking pathetic life of you feeling like you need a damn man to make yourself feel good. I'm no, I no longer care about that you were cheated on or in an abusive relationship because you were no longer spring those feelings onto me where I feel a type of way to always comfort you. Fuck you. And just listen to these words. What you say will no longer matter. Call me a dick. Call me insensitive. I don't care. Just listen one last time. I am done. I am what you do. My, my, my studio audience is, <laughs> is applauding. <laughs> I'm a, I'm gonna be nosy and I'm a, I'm a, I'm a about that poem later because we have to talk to my wife and I need I need to know some details and some names and some, some pictures. I got you. Yeah, you know, just just for myself, just for myself. Mm -hmm. But thank you so much, Jacob, for being here. You know, I love you for being here. I really appreciate it. Please tell people. What what where they can find you? What you're doing, even if it's just tutoring math kids, because that's real important, and I can't do it. So, tell people how to connect with you. Um, I, I don't know if it's on the screen, but my uh, Instagram is at always fight the number four yourself. I'm a big believer for just choosing you over other people, choosing yourself over other people, because at the end of the day, you're with yourself 24/7. At the end of the day. You matter the most. As much as you want to make other people happy, just remember you go to sleep and wake up by yourself almost every day of your life. That's true. So as much as you want to please other people, when they don't give a shit about you, realize that and take care of yourself. I'll put it in the chat. That that was so sad, but inspirational. And on that note, everybody, please give it up for Jacob. Connect you, with him. Find him. Tell him he's amazing. The, the, the fans, they, they love you. They, they love you, Jacob. I, I don't understand what's going on, but they love you. <laughs> and I love you. And we hope to see you I next you time. I, I, expect, I, I don't know what I expect, but I expect something. Don't worry. Next, hey, next month, I'm going to have some pieces for you. Don't worry. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna hold you to it. It's good to see you. Stay safe. Thank you. All right, everybody. My studio audience sounds like they're having a little bit more fun than I am. But that was Jacob. Are y'all having a good time? Studio audience. <laughs> studio audience is having a good time. I hope those who are streaming, those who are watching, I hope y'all are having a good time too. Thank y'all for being here. I love each and every one of you, whether I know you personally, whether you just stroll through and you're hanging out with us. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for doing this. Hot Like Fire is really, really special to me. And Kai talked a little bit about it. Jacob talked a little bit about it. I'm going to talk a lot of bit about it because it's my show. But this platform, what we do, especially in these crazy world ending times, because 2020 is just blowing, blowing minds left and right. Things like this are so important. Being able to connect with each other, being able to express yourselves. We live in a world that's constantly forcing you to adjust who you are and how you react and just kind of censor your feelings. And me as an incredible, like, I, I don't know about y'all, but I'm a huge ball of feelings and emotions. And I'm not good at pretending like I'm not thinking or feeling what I'm thinking or feeling. And writing poetry this community for me has given me a place in this world reminds me that what i say what i feel who i am is important but it also helps me show other people that what they think what they say who they are is important in a world that's constantly telling you that you need to be something else that you need to do something else it's good to have a place where you don't have to about none of that. And that's what I hope to do with every Hot Life Fire. I hope I'm doing that for my incredible performers. I hope I'm doing that for y'all. If 
somebody has touched your heart, if you fell in love with somebody, and if you've been inspired to perform, please, please, please hit me up. I will make room for you on this list because I want to see y'all and I want to connect with y'all. But also, also, please, please, please support this movement, support what's going on. We are produced. We are fun. All this is put together by the incredible Poetic Vibes. You can see their information on the little ticker at the bottom. Connect with Poetic Vibes. Chi Chi, her team, they work incredibly hard making all this happen, setting all of this up. Please, please, please connect with them. Donate with them. Support them because we live in a capitalistic society and ain't shit out here free. So please, 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 in this very, very real, very, very adult world, if you got some cash, you know, slide us slide some cash. It ain't even got to be like a lot of cash. Like it, it can be the cash that like you took from the person that didn't know you took the cash from the person and you just, you just, you just slide it to me, you know, like for, for the arts and, and the children, you know, <laughs> and, and the children. Hold on, hold on. I got to do like this. And, and the children. I hate this one right now. So. No. Yes, sir. For real, again, so if you would like to perform Hey Me Up, I will make room. But because it's my show, <laughs> I'm going to keep saying that. I, I, I just like saying that. I'm so obnoxious. Because it's my show and I can do whatever I want to do, I feel like I should perform again. You know, I'm, I'm in a type of performance. I think you I think you So you don't have to perform again? Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay, I might. You know, Please okay. don't want to do it. What y'all in the mood for? Y'all want something? Y'all want something sad? Y'all want something lovey? Y'all want something angry? What we want? I want something that makes you happy. That makes there me you know, happy. That makes you happy. Ooh. It ain't about me. What makes me happy? Don't know that makes me happy. <laughs> Don't know what makes me happy. I'm gonna I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read this time, y'all, because I have a book. That I never promote, y'all. So, this is my book that I worked really hard on. It's called Heart Feelings. You can find it on Amazon or you can shoot me a text. I will get you a copy of the book. And it's just 100% stuffed with a bunch of feelings of the heart. That's why it's called Heart Feelings. Yes, yeah, studio audience, you get a book. If you want a book, let me know. I'll get you a book. You yes. get a book. You all get yes, a book. What makes me happy? I'm gonna read. I'm gonna. I'm gonna read something cute from my book that that I wrote. That, that makes me happy. Do I want to be petty? Do I want to be angry? Do I want to be sad? What do I want to be? Uh, I want you to be petty. Oh. 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 I want you to be petty. Okay. Oh my god. He's right here. He can sign it again. <laughs> no, it's fine. He has a big shiny budget. <laughs> mm, okay, I'll be I'll, I'll be petty. All right, so this poem that is in my book, I, I, I wrote it myself. What page? For those following along in your books, <laughs> it's on page 36. It's called Stoplers. And <laughs> I wrote this poem when I was jealous, and I want everybody to know I don't feel this way anymore. I'm not this person. I was this person for artistic purposes, but I am no longer this person. Damn. But it's called Stouffer's. Thou shalt know she can't love you. Not like I can. Not like nobody. Not like nothing. She can only use you. Overdose on your attention so she can sleep at night, steal the heart on your sleeve to wipe her tears. She will vacuum your soul of all its life, leave you dry both mentally and physically. But I will give you rest. A Jedi doesn't need to return for you to know it's a trap, but I'm a cat, so... You ain't gotta join the dark side, just the right side. I'll repeat myself this once, she can't love you. Just disappoint you, just exhaust you, but I, in relaxation, 
This temptation offers a better destination, and you can't see that shit because she's so damn pretty. Mm. But bitch, so are flowers. Just be careful because you might be allergic. Mm. Stop acting like her touch don't make your dip so limp you need a handicap spot it's mm. real cute mm. you don't want to hurt her feelings but i don't give a fuck <laughs> so i bet her boobs are bigger than her brain bet her favorite rapper is macklemore bet she still listens to nickel to nickelback boy throw that nickel back and trade it in for a dime i bet she can only take the tip Ooh. Here's a life tip. Drop that prissy future white collar housewife and hop on this ride that's only open for you. Don't need no fast pass, no guest pass. You'll be IP. I'll let you in for the sound check. Then we'll take it backstage. But if all that don't sound appealing to you, I guess you can settle for her microwave, stoflers, lasagna, boiled hot dogs, and unseasoned chicken dinners for the rest of your life. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'll repeat myself one more time because I'm nice like that. No, she can't love you. Once again, I wrote that poem when I was jealous. I'm no longer feeling that way. I am not that person today. I've grown. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Y'all, I'm not used to the uh, studio audience. Y'all have to get out of here. Y'all have to leave. But those who are streaming, I, I see y'all. I love y'all too. Studio audience, I love y'all. I thank y'all for supporting everything that is going on, for being here, for being lovers of the art. I thank my performers for y'all for being here. Y'all are cute. Y'all are fantastic. See, we got we got a puppy too. We got a puppy who wanna perform. We, we, see, we it's it's just it's it's an overwhelming amount of talent in the room. And we, we can't handle it all. But if you just tuned in because you real late, maybe you have something to do. It's it's life and there's a lot of stuff going on. If you just tune in, if you just turn us on, this is hot like fire open mic. I am Charles. I am your host. I'm a poet. I do, honestly, I, ju I just do poetry. Like, I be trying to, like, pitch myself like I be doing other stuff. But I'm a poet. I'm a, I'm a friend. I'm a lover. And I'm happy that y'all are hanging out with us. I'm happy that y'all are here with us. We are here every fourth Friday of the month. So, Keep up with us, connect with us. If you want to connect with me personally, oh, let me put my social media up there. I'm being irresponsible, y'all. If y'all want to connect with me personally, all my social media, because I'm basic and I can't think of more than one social media handle. It's Charles Hines 401. I pay attention to my followers. Please, please, please follow me. I might follow you back if you're cute. No, I'll follow you back. I follow everybody back. But this platform is something that I wanted to put on because I felt like it was important. This is something that I wanted to do because I felt like there's a huge need for, for places to express yourself, for places to be your complete self, for places just to love yourself. The poets who've performed tonight, myself, we are all people who feel things. Yeah, it's just, it's go stand up. I'm losing my webcam, y'all. There we go. We are all people who have technical difficulties sometimes. We feel things, we experience things, and we need a place it's to love on ourselves, to be ourselves, to be proud of who we are and what we feel in this dark, dark, scary world sometimes. So... If you want to perform, it's not too late. You can hit me up. I'm looking at my phone and nobody's hit me up. If you want to perform, let me know because we still got time. We're we going to hang out. I want to hang out with y'all. I want to love on y'all. I want to experience y'all. But also, I'm going to plug my incredible performers who already performed in the meantime because I don't want to miss anybody. So... 
First up, we had Kai Incredible. Kai said seven. One plus six. I'm not good at math, but Jacob, correct me if I'm wrong. One plus six is is seven. Kai, Kai seven books. If, if you're bored during this pandemic and you need something to read, you need something to lift your spirits to pay attention to. If if you need if you need something to annotate, if it's, if it's late at night and you're lonely and you don't want to text the person you know you're not supposed to be texting, maybe you should buy one of Kai's books and get your read on. You know, reading is good for the brain and the soul. Seven, seven, seven of them to choose from. So, so you know, just just tossing that out there. And then, and then, Mr. Jacob. I don't even have to say nothing about him because everybody already know and everybody already love him. But if you need somebody to correct your addition. If needs somebody to teach you your timetables, maybe a little bit of algebra. He said he said eighth grade. I don't know what math was we doing in eighth grade. That was algebra. I think. Uh, I, I, see, I blocked it out because I'm not good at math. But connect with him because he's not only an incredible poet. I'm, I'm gonna attach the title. You have the responsibility now, Jacob. You are a poet, incredible poet. But he's also an educator. And shout out to all the educators. I know it's a lot of people in the poetry community, it's a lot of us out there who are educators. And it's not easy, especially in this time with everything that's going on. We love and we appreciate what y'all are doing because it's harder. And we, we love it. We support y'all. Please, please, please reach out to y'all educator friends, check on them, but also let them know that what they're doing is important because we're humans and we need that validation. Give me one second. I'm going to check to see, do we have anybody else on this list? Because I don't want anybody to be missed. I don't want anybody to be forgotten. Okay. In the meantime, I'm going to bring... Jacob back up. He says he has another piece and I'm nervous <laughs> because I don't be trusting him, but I'm excited because I know it's going to be good. Look at him having to get stuff together. What are you volunteering? Am I going to regret it? No, 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 no. I don't think so. No, I don't. At least I don't he, think so. He said no. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to give you the floor. It's Jacob again because he, he got fan bases. So I know some of y'all are fangirling right now. So <laughs> whatever you got. I support it. All right. So <clears throat> this is called Pledge of Allegiance. I no longer stand every morning with the kids during the Pledge of Allegiance. One nation, under God, indivisible. Wait a minute. Do we not know math? Indivisible means unable to divide. But division, Republicans, Democrats, black, white, we fight, creating divide. Among one nation, wait a minute, why do we do this? Every morning, contradictions, brainwashing, understand, don't just do. No more will I stand. That's it. Just short, just to the point. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I wasn't even clapping. My, my studio audience is, is also clapping. And so. I don't even know what to say, but I, I loved it. That was that that was that was a that was an incredibly powerful piece. It I feel like I say like in these times, like it's something rare, but it's always something crazy, it's always something daunting and divisive that's going on in America, in the world. And is it's, I feel like it's hard for individuals to kind of, one, 
form your own opinion and then stand by what you believe in. Mm -hmm. But also it's hard to stand against things that you know are wrong, especially when it feels like the world is made and set up and set up that way. It is, that's, that, that's something that's, <laughs> exactly. that, that's something that's hard. And like, I, I applaud you, but like, like I said, that's also why platforms like this are important. It's a place for us to, to, to put those feelings and to advocate for what we know is right. Especially you leading the kids into the future. Oh, of course. I, I'm a great influence sometimes. <laughs> no, I love it. I love it. And I thank you again. You, you got all these fans. You you will gain like 10 followers tonight. Like, oh, please. I already got one. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. <laughs> Everybody, please again connect with, <laughs> connect with Jacob. Hit him up. Bug him. And hold up. <laughs> Mr. Poet. Uh -oh. that, I, that I christened tonight. Like th this is gonna be like a knighting ceremony, you know. Yes, sir. When when this book coming out? Mm. You, you see, even a short one. Like, see, my therapist has been like hyping me up for like the last four months to write one. Mm -hmm. So 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 it's in the works. Sure, if I knew how to. I'll hit you up so I can. Uh, so if I text you next week, you will have something to show me. Sure. Uh, okay. All right. I'm going to text you next week. You better have something to show me. I got Always remind me to text Jacob next week about his book. Please we hold. Will. Yes. Hold, hold me and him accountable. Because... Who, who's in the audience? That's what I want. <laughs> I, mean, I, I told you you got a fan base. Like, you thought, see, you thought I was exaggerating, but I'm not. I'm not the but... one who was in the DA, so I'm not that one. <laughs> I said this, 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 this a different man. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Jacob. <laughs> Thank you, Jacob, for being here. I will let you go, but I appreciate it. I love everything that you're doing. Thank you, Charles. And just like that, we've been inspired yet again, yet again, yet again. So. I don't have nobody else on the list for y'all to see other than myself. And That's you know, crazy. I don't like to be I don't I don't like to be pretentious and overdo stuff. So so before I perform again, I'll I'll perform one more time, but I do want to give another opportunity to Kai to perform because they're here and because they're incredible and because they got seven books. That's like years and years and years of content. So like, I'm gonna sit down with my singular book and I'm gonna let Kai do their thing. Kai, 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 Kai. Whatever it is, I'm already excited. Uh, and Jacob, I can help you with your book. I, I have years of publishing and editing experience. I got you on that. I can help you self-publish if you want. Once I get a publisher, I can put you on with them. All right, so this one is a rap that I wrote inspired by my best friend, Naima Jamari, who I hope is on here right now. Um, so, yeah. Because I do what I want. Yeah, I do what I want. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do what I want. Yeah, I do what I want. Yes, yeah, the job, but I do what I want. My so I see is breaking the law. You want to wipe me outside of what now? Zeros on zeros on zeros on zeros on zeros. No, not a flaw. Because I do what I don't want. I do what I want, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm a witch bitch. Smoke a quick zip, put a nigga in a car with a drip drip. Nigga sip sip, wanna write my lip lip. Just a tip, but it's actually too thick thick. Do what I don't want, do what I don't want, yeah, yeah. Cause I do what I don't want, cause I do what I don't want, yeah, yeah. B is for baddie, I'm breaking the barriers. You even said no, that's nothing scarier. This is the precipice, this is the aftermath. So gonna have to like wait. Won't take an ass on the date. This thing you do as I say. I'm the queen like Onika Mirage. She wanna have my knives. She wanna solve my knives. I said, well, hold do your job. She would do great. Eat it like cake. You know, I'm bite. Have high some stage dripping. I'll show you like you're in the lake. I'm high as shit. I'm sorry. But yeah, that's it. Okay. Betty White. All quite faceted. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. You know, you know, we we just genre bending right now. I I'm comfortably only a poet, but. <laughs> If you can no. do it all, I'll do it all. <laughs> You're coming. You're coming. So 
best poet I know. You, 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 you know, you know, stop, but you know, okay, but, 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 but stay, stay it if you need to stay it. You know. no, I appreciate no, no, you. No, I appreciate you so, so, so much. And when I, for real, like I am in love with you and your poetry. Thank. I, I'm not even playing modest right now, y'all. Y'all, I can't, I can't take compliments, but. Kai, I, I appreciate you. I love everything that you're doing. And I can't stress people enough. Please, please, please support Kai. But like, I, books on books on books. You are an incredible writer. You are. Yeah, go ahead. I'm so sorry. I missed what you said. I said hit my cash app because 90% of my cash app goes to charity. Yes, yes, yes. Please support, if you can, support the artists. A lot of times what we do, we do for exposure, but the world we live in ain't free. So please, 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 if you got it and you can spare it, please support this. Support all of these artists who've been here today. Support the platform. It's, it's not easy to do what we do and it's, it ain't free to do what we do. Kai, I love you. Thank you so much for being here. I will I will see you next time. I, I, I appreciate you so much. I love you, sweetheart. Multifaceted, y'all. Um, you know, one one day, one one of these days, I'm a I'm I'm gonna drop a real smooth, real smooth mixtape, you know, not not today or tomorrow, but you know, one one of, one of these, one of these days, maybe, you know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. But everyone, we have come to the end of our performers list unless somebody wanna like show up real quick and perform because I'm not opposed to that. But if not, while I stall for a couple of seconds and see if somebody's inspired because poets love to last minute be inspired. I would like to shout out everybody who makes this happen. Thank you so much, Poetic Vibes. Thank you, Chi Chi, for all your support. Like I said, her and her team work incredibly hard setting up the streams, the flyers that you see, this platform that you see. They put all of that together and really make it easy on me to not have to lift a finger. I appreciate it. I appreciate you for believing in me, Chi Chi, and just making it all look so clean and professional. If if y'all want to know how it's done, reach out to her, connect with her, because she's on the ones and twos, always, always, always. And Chi Chi Poetic Vibes, they're making incredible moves in the artistic and the poetic community. Thank you to my performers, Kai, Jacob. Thank y'all for being here. Connect with them, find them. Please reach out to them, y'all. They are incredible. It's you get up here and spill your heart. We make it look easy because, but it's not easy. I'm also gonna shout out my friends, my studio audience. Thank y'all for <laughs> ambiance like y'all make me feel better this virtual transition has not been easy on poets hold on hold on hold on i think i got a volunteer tribute hold on hold on okay, okay here i i see somebody trying to perform so give me one second, I'll call you. I wanted people opportunities to perform because that's what this poem for. And I, I love it, I love it, I love it. Hold on, so. So while we're working on that, who else do I need to thank? Because it's a lot of people that I need to thank. Yeah, everyone who's tuned in, everyone who stayed with us. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for supporting this platform. We love each and every one of y'all. I'm see, I, I seeing y'all comments. I'm reading those now. I try to I try to be in 30 places at once. So I love y'all who are watching virtually. Like I said, this transition hasn't been easy on poets, and we're really doing our best to keep these dreams alive, to keep these platforms here for ourselves and for y'all. It's a work in progress, but we thank each and every 
person who's been here with us. Okay, so hold on. How am I going to do this? Okay, Charlotte, give me one second. I'm going to send you a quick message because I would really, really love to get you up here. And while I do that, if y'all are following along, if y'all sticking around with us, I appreciate it. I really love and appreciate what y'all are doing. I'm going to try to get one more performer up here before we head out because I can perform all night, but I don't want to hear myself perform all night. We do. Mm. They might, but I'm here. I... Tell them again. I do not. I do not. I only got but so many poems. I would rather, I would rather showcase some of the amazing talent in the building. Hold on. I'm gonna, hold on, because I'm going to be Okay, so. Hold on, hold on. Because I just had a performer jump in. If I bring you up here, you, you better perform. If I don't care what you do, but if I bring you up here, you better perform. Otherwise, we're going to have problems. I'm not going to even tell you who it is. I'm just going to, like, bring, like, hold on, because cause I'm about to freak out. Get it. Oh, I don't care God. what you do, but I want you to know that I'm mad, but you better perform. Like, pull, pull something out of the sky. Make it up as you go. I, I, I'm going to just sit down for 30 seconds and figure something out real quick. Oh, man. I'm on? But also tell people who you are and how to find you and what you're doing and explain what's going on. I don't know what's going oh, you're on. on. Now you're on. Yes, you are on. People yeah. can on. I don't know what's going on. Um, it's cutting in and out. It's kind of awkward. Um, are you on? Oh, I'm live. Okay, I'm just gonna rap. I don't. I don't know what's going on. I can't see you, Charles. I can't see anybody. But um, I'm just gonna spit. Paycheck, payday. Friday, May Day. Hey, day, May Lay. May up raise, pay gray. Bank teller say they wish they could amount. No more than just a person paying to monitor accounts. And I just want to stash thicker than above up a lip near the grass, kneeling on the grass, trying to propose budgets for overseas vacay, the overseas vacay. Passive ass income when I ask for autograph, make sure the grass laugh when I saw him last. Public taxi nuggets grubbing out the pack, unthought, unsolved. Wonders of the universe. Get money, fuck me and pop law, Juniper. Um, I go by Shael Blenya. That's C H A E L B L I N Y A. Um, yeah, I was just watching the show and I was like, you know what, I'll throw in a verse into the, the hat. Nobody else is performing, so, you know, I'm just here. That's about it, you know. Um, back to you, Charles. <laughs> I, I hate you and I love you at the same time. Hold on, I hate you and I love you at the same time. So, he, he did plug himself, he did plug himself. So I, I'll post I'll post his info on the screen so y'all can find him. For those who don't know, because you don't pay attention to my social media, um, <laughs> Chayel is an incredible rapper. Yeah. And I'm not just saying that because he's my friend and because I know him. He's an incredible rapper. And he just kind of a little bit failed to mention that he will also be releasing an EP next week. So, hold on. So, if you love yourself, don't even do this for me. If you love yourself and you have ears and good taste, I will put his social media up here. Please, please connect with him because you, you doing yourself a favor. It's, it's like I said, it's not for me anymore. It's it's for yourself and it's for the children. Yo, Charles, can you hear me? I can I can hear you. I don't okay. know. It was like wonky at first. Like I was talking and you were talking. And I was like, okay, like we can't okay. hear each other. But we're we're fine. We are fine. Thank you, Shiel, for being here. I appreciate the thirty seconds that you gave to us. <laughs> it makes me it makes me incredibly happy. You don't even understand. So so Scorpio on camera. So you gonna say something? Like are you gonna? I was gonna say hello. 
Okay, Scorpio is also an incredible poet. I will put him on the spot this time, but next time we'll work some things out. We will. Make sure he performs. And we will make sure that he performs. Yes, yeah, see, see, y'all already got fans. Y'all already got fans. But I appreciate you, Shayel. I'll let you go. Thank you. Thank you. So, like, I'm, I'm not with you anymore. No problem. I'll see you later. I'm so mad at this. Okay, okay. I'm trying to see if I missed anybody. I hope that I have to find a way to put up his stuff. I will. I hope that y'all have enjoyed this night as much as I've enjoyed this night. It's been a few twists and turns because, like I said, we are still working on this virtual transition. You know what? I'm just gonna put it down here because if it falls, I'm gonna cry. But I love each and every one of y'all. If 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 I could look each and every one of you in the eye, I'll look into the camera. I love each and every one of y'all. Is not easy to be in charge of stuff. It's not easy to create stuff that's your own. And I really appreciate everyone who's been here for this platform. I really appreciate everyone who's performed, everyone who's supported. And before I close out and let all of you go and call it a night, do I want to perform one more time? Yes. yes. They want me to perform one more time. Yes, I, yes, we do. Deep I'll down, do you want to. <laughs> I'll do something. It's with, your show, what they're going to do. So, you know? Yes. <laughs> I'll do something quick. Do do I wanna do I wanna read something from the book? Do I wanna do something old? Do I wanna freestyle? No. That that's the one thing I can't do. I can do a few things, but I can't. I cannot okay, Charles. make it up off the top of my head. Petty. I, I I cannot. Charles, we go in petty. Okay. Oh no, we're not going to bed here. We'll go inspirational. Oh, I didn't know that was interesting. But, but before we leave, dismiss us from this place, but never ever from the presence of the Lord. Oh. So this last poem that we'll do, and then we'll call it a night. Everybody who's performed, thank you. If I missed you, if we ran out of time and I didn't see you, please hit me up personally, Charles Hines 401. Send me a Facebook message, send me an Instagram message so that I can put you on the list so I can connect with you and we will not miss you next time. I'm so sorry about it. We are on a time crunch and that's just how things are. But I love you anyway and we hope to see you next time. This last poem I'm going to perform. I hope y'all can see me sitting. I hope it's okay. And I'm sitting, I'm gonna be comfortable. It's called Who I Be, and it's just about standing up against the naysayers and loving yourself unconditionally. At the end of the day, that's really all that matters is how you feel about yourself, how you see yourself. And I wrote this because I felt like I kind of lost sight of that. I'm gonna stay here actually. I don't, I don't like to sit when I perform. I'm going to stay on. Okay. Who do you be? Knife or machete meant to cut down the pedestal of God's purpose? Or are you the judge? The scale of one to ten upheld by unrighteous men, placing scales on the eyes of visionaries? Are you the shame? that laced my mother's milk. Lies fed to me, about me, weeds wrapped around the roots of potential. I use the foresight it takes to destroy greatness in the womb. The blanket used to smother babe and bottle, are you the night? The sensation that welcomes demons and dreamers alike, or the turning of the stomach with horrors impossible to digest, the biting of the Lips preventing the lunch from sin. Maybe you are a misplaced identity. Leading the souls into the wall of limitation. Maybe you are the law of the land. Laws created by those who never truly own the land. Well, I, I tell you who I be. I be the light. 
that nourishes the true vine, pruned and perfected to please the true and living, I be the revolt. The battle cry heard by slaves and slaver, I be chaos. The cyclone uprooting the status quo, chucking that shit from Kansas to Oz. I be the shedding of standards like dead skin. I in the conviction that causes oppression to quake with guilt, the clarity of heart, of mind, of spirit. I am the joy hand selected for oneself, created and carved and crafted to my own liking, bruises from shoving away hate to make room for love. True love that is patient and kind and does not dishonor others, but always protects. I am the peace that comes from being one's complete self embroidered in the marrow of my bones. It took you chains to show me that I could break them. And for you being who you be, I know fully who I be. Thank you, studio audience. Thank each and every one of y'all so much for tuning in to Hot Like Fire. We are here every fourth Friday. Please, please, please follow Poetic Vibes. Follow myself, Charles Hines 401. We are going to be putting on a bunch of great stuff for y'all. We'll be here every end of the month. Connect with all the incredible performers that have performers that have been here tonight. Thank each and every one of y'all. And now I'm getting down on y'all level. I want to look into your eyes and tell you I love you. Thank each and every one of y'all for being here. It's been a fantastic night. Please, please, please love yourself. Be safe. Eat something good. Tell somebody you care about that you love them and all those wonderful things. Right. Have a good time. Thank you so much. This has been Hot Like Fire. Woo.